Anyhow, moving on from one co troubled company to another, Pyramid Saimira has come out to say that the letter allegedly issued by the Securities and Exchange Board of India mandating a share buyback is fake. The company's shares have been swinging wildly and this new revelation just adds more spice to the mix. Here's more on the story. This looks like a season for southern discomfort. Even as Satyam Computer Services grapples with the wrath of investors, Chennai-based Pyramid Saimira has been the subject of much attention over the past two days. The reason? An intriguing conspiracy of an open offer mandate at Rs 250 per share by SEBI via a letter that the regulator says it never issued. SEBI clarified today. It is hereby clarified that no order or letter has been issued by SEBI to Mr. P.S. Saminathan on 19 December 2008. It appears that the said letter is being circulated with ulterior motives. SEBI is separately investigating into the matter, including the origin of the letter. SEBI is also separately inquiring into the dealing in the script following the press report, including the alleged violation of SEBI regulations 1997. The mystery of the SEBI letter addressed to Pyramid Saimira chairman P.S. Saminathan, which led to wild gyrations in the stock price over the past few days, is leading to intense speculation. The stock gained 50% between December 15 to 19 prior to the news. Following the management's denial, it lost 10% in each session between December 22 and 23. There have been whispers of Pyramid Saimira management being somewhat involved. The management, however, claims that the nature of notice it acknowledged receiving a day ago seems suspect. It's, it's, it's a forged letter on the SEBI's letterhead. So I feel it is uh, we should investigate this letter, how its letterhead has been forged. The connection in the letter was that Nirmal Kotecha, another co-promoter who owns 24.89% stake in the company, was going to sell his stake to Saminathan for Rs 200 per share. And this, without an open offer, would have deprived minority shareholders of their right. But the identity of the mysterious letter writer and the objectives behind this remain unsolved. Needless to say, some interesting revelations are likely over the next few days. In Mumbai with Vijay Ganeshan, Ketan Thakkar for NDTV.